Hello there, everybody. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Okay, for today, we are going to be upgrading my computer uh, because I only have eight gigs of RAM in this and I need at least 16 gigs of RAM in this. So what are you gonna need? As the accent goes away. Um, first thing you're gonna need is a screwdriver, obviously uh, to take out screws. Um, we need a little Phillips head. Uh, we need some kind of prying uh, utensil. A um, uh, little blue little pick would be would be nice, or just some kind of plastic thing that you may can kind of just stick through on the thing. The third thing you're gonna need is uh, your replacement RAM. We are upgrading to two by eight instead of just one by eight. We're um, actually taking uh, uh, an eight gig stick out at 2666 megahertz and putting in a 32. Uh, Eight gigs, two eight gig sticks in that are at 3200 megahertz. I don't even know if this computer is compatible with that, but we're gonna try it anyways. Um, then the next thing you're gonna need is my computer. Yes, you are going to need my computer or one that's similar to it. Um, so for this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Electronics Mech 17 G1RX, and we're gonna go ahead and start that process now. All right, so as I mentioned this already, this is one of my personal units. Um, so you're gonna notice a couple of things. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it around. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I'm already missing two screws. I kind of took them out and I lost them. But first step is to remove every single screw that you see around. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 to remove. Um, and I'm gonna start with these. Okay, we got that done. Now the next step is gonna be to grab your spudger or any kind of like prying tool, uh, lift it up like so and start out from the front and it should pop just like that. And we can work our way around the back. And actually, if we do the wiggle wiggle thing right here, wiggle wiggle just comes, comes off. All right, so I'm gonna be upgrading the RAM on here, but while I'm in here, you can see that I have my NVMe in here. Your that's just, that's gonna be your SSD, and it also has a SATA uh, area here as well. So if you want to add your hard drive, we do have an, two NVMe slots here that we can utilize. All all it takes to uh, to do that is remove this screw to take out your NVMe. You kind of pull this out this way, and then you install your new one in, just like that. Nothing too complicated. All right, so for the RAM, we have uh, an empty slot on this side and we have um, a slot populated on this side. What you're gonna do to take off the RAM is there's gonna be two little latches here, one left and one right, or one right and one left, however you're looking at it. We're gonna pull these outward like this, one, two, and this is and the, the RAM's just gonna pop up by itself. So we're gonna pull this towards us like this and it'll come right out. Now we're gonna replace the RAM We have two 8 gig 3200 sticks. And it's gonna go in the same way it came out. It only goes in one way, so you gotta look at that notch. It's, make sure it matches with the notch down here. And then you're gonna put it in the same way and then just take one finger, push it down, it clips on. Same way with the other one. We're going to match the notch, the notch there, notch there, push it in, just like that, and then take one finger, push it down. It clips on by itself. All right, and now we, and now we close our machine. Just go ahead and make sure that your clips are in, all the way to the back. There all your clips are going to be going in. All the way around. Once all your clips are in properly, just go ahead and put your screws back in the way that you took them out. Of 
course, if you still have your two metal screws, put those back in the way they're supposed to be. All right, now let's go ahead and try to start it up. Make sure that the ramp sticks are working. All right, so once you have your computer up and running, just go ahead and start a task manager and make sure that both of your sticks are being detected and that your speeds are running correctly. Ours it seems to be compatible with 3200 megahertz RAM, so that's good. If your computer does not properly boot, let's say it, you wait for a long time and you get a black screen, uh, it could mean that you possibly did not insert it incorrectly or you might have a bad RAM stick. Um, if you know that your RAM stick is fine and you know that you inserted it properly, it could be a compatibility thing. I know there's some uh, laptops out there that will not take certain uh, RAM sticks. Uh, that's kind of why I went with the uh, uh, Samsung RAM because I know Samsung RAM is accepted by most manufacturers and most models of computers. So uh, ours works just fine. So anyways, if uh, this was helpful to you, if you learned something from this, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button and uh, share this with, uh, with other people. That way they'll know how to work on their own units. Uh, but until next time, hopefully this video was helpful to you. I'll see you on the next one. Take care of each other. Take care of yourself. See you.